my father was doing some shoe repair. I believe he was putting a pair of heels on my mother's shoes. So I said to Dad, will you repair my shoes? He looked at me and he said, no, I won't. But you bring them down here and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, it always seemed to be uh, a learning process. Uh, my father was a, a very a strong man on discipline. Also, deep down, was very fond of his family. I know that he was very fond of me. There was a wedding of my auntie, and he was asked, would he mind being the MC for the night? And Dad obliged. However, there was one speech, I think it was the speech to the uh, bride, and he couldn't get anybody. He, in desperation, came to me and said, Brian, you're gonna make the speech. I was 14 years of age, and I said, Dad, I've never done this before. He said, well, this is a great time to learn. I made the speech, and from that day, I thought, yes, I can become a voice in public speaking. I was offered this position in Townsville. Uh, I invited Dad and Mum up to Townsville for a holiday. And mind you, they needed to be together because uh, the period of time that he was in the Army was long. I was very, very keen on their to see them on their arrival. I could see that there was a, a melding of father and son. That was uh, 1951. In 1952, I received a telegram uh, from home stating that Dad had passed away. Uh, the last time that I saw Dad, he was happy, I was happy. We shook hands at the Townsville Railway Station and that is the image that I want with me. My biggest challenge has been to be the best father I could. Uh, it's not easy in a lot of cases when you have children that want to follow their own uh, ideals and you know perhaps that it's not the right way to go. I think you've got to be a very very easy going on one hand but show that you have the discipline on the other. With Peter I never ever told him come on get in here and practice your, your pieces for your championships and things. I used to come and hit in the into the room and sit down and play the piano, knowing full well that uh, footsteps would be coming up the passageway, into the room, put the piano lid down, and putting up his music stand and getting out his instrument. <laughs> I'd never ever had to tell him to do it. He used to think, well, I'm the musician in this family, not you. It became a choice of his own. Uh, with Barbara, uh, as I say, she was more free-willed, but I let her do what she wanted to do. She, she was in the early piece, uh, she wanted to be an actress, uh, which was very difficult in those days. TV was fairly young. She went to Sydney, but she had to get a job, and the job that, she, uh, that was available, she drove a truck for the council in Sydney. <laughs> yes, I would say that children have got a significant 
imprint on your life, likewise you've got on their life. So I guess you call it family living. <laughs>